You ever wonder what TFSI stands for? Well, today I'll explore that subject with you. I'm Kit Lansha. Welcome to my channel. And uh, I must say that VWS come up with some interesting acronyms. One of those being TFSI. Now this is just an acronym for Turbo Fuel Stratified Injection System. That sounds like a lot of weird words, but there's an excellent reason why they called it that. So obviously turbo you'd understand, but fuel strat stratified, that's quite an important thing. Because what actually happens is that within the engines that does have this technology, it actually runs extremely lean. So much so that if it wasn't for the fuel being stratified, the engine would not run at all. So what occurs is you have a direct injector that injects directly into the combustion chamber and around it, it normally has a small pocket where the fuel is mixed with the air under this high pressure injection system. They call it stratified because the rest of the combustion chamber has no fuel within it. So only that small little spot actually has fuel where it comes from where um, the actual fuel enters until the edge of the bubble that it creates it has a mixture of from the center all the way extremely rich to the outer outskirts of the bubble which are extremely lean however the combustion as it occurs it occurs within that little bubble and then as a result, you can still sustain a combustion because there is still an area within it where the fuel is actually richer than what is required, so the combustion happens easier. However, there is a drawback of this system and that is particles, as particles are more readily created within the system due to those zones that are very close to the center that have an extremely high amount of fuel to air ratio which results in the fuel combusting in an incomplete manner as a side effect of that. So it's quite interesting how that works out within the engine. However, it does lead to a very efficient engine. There is certain solutions that they have implemented. So the newer versions of the engines, they actually have a dual injection system. They'll have the direct injectors and they'll also have injectors within the intake manifold. Normally these would be activated at the start of the engine and the low pressure injectors would be injecting into the fuel tract and in that way it ensures that they reduce the particles. And as one enters cruising phase then obviously the low pressure injectors start to switch off and the high pressure injectors within the combustion chamber takes over because when you have a higher compression ratio and a bigger swept volume due to engine speed the particle production is less within a fuel stratified injection system because there is actually more air that mixes in with it so thus we can still have the high efficiency of the direct injection system or stratified injection system and also prevent particles or as much as possible particles or particulate matter to actually occur within a combustion chamber. It's quite interesting also how they chose that name because it kind of relates to the stratosphere as the stratosphere is very high above us and it's also a very low content of oxygen and well gas as a whole so the atmosphere pressure is much much lower right, in the stratosphere so the whole idea is, is that because the total combustion chamber has areas where it has high and low mixtures of fuel it's very similar to our atmosphere having an upper and lower layers normally when it's not stratified it would be a homogamous combustion chamber or homogamous fuel mixture that is where they use injectors that inject the fuel into the air track before it enters the intake manifold or before it enters before it enters the intake of the engine actually oh and just one side note if you ever do intend to become a mechanic try not to fall for the long wait thanks for watching 
and please like and subscribe.